So Kev safely through your opening match, but it was quite a tussle in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't say safely through. Uh, no, a fantastic game. You know, the averages were good. Um, both of us played lovely. It was like playing with Richie of old. Mm. Um, couldn't shrug him off in the first couple of sessions, really. Um, had to dig in, and when I was 5 3 down, I really dug in, had a couple mm. of good finishes uh, to make it 5 all. Thought I played well from. I thought I was playing well even when I was behind. To be mm. fair, so I just stuck at it, and uh, my confidence is good at the minute. So um, I sort of dug in, and uh, everything came good in the end. It's a proper momentum in that last session when it locked at five all after ten sets, uh, ten legs. Sorry, but do you think that you might be able to carry that on through as well into, yeah, into the next one? Yeah, you know, listen. If you're going to win this tournament or do well in it, you've got to play well every game. Mm. Um, if I play like that again. Someone's going to have a hell of a job beating me, mm. um, which is which is good. You know, you, it gives you a bit of steel coming through them games, uh, tough games, and you come through them. It gives you something for the next round, um, and I'm looking forward to the draw and to see how I get. You know, mm. uh, as I say, whoever if someone's going to take me out of here, they're going to, have to do well to do it. The draw is obviously going to be concluded and sorted at the end of today's mm. play. Um, what, what, what's next for you? Do you have a bit of downtime, a bit of relaxation? I'll just chill out for a little bit. You know, you've got to come down and relax and come off that high. You know, mm. you, your adrenaline's pumping when you play. You've got to sit down for half an hour and chill out for a bit. Mm. Um, and then I'll just go back to the chalet and uh, I'll just chill out there. I'm not too bothered about watching the draw. Someone will tell me anyway. You get 300 yeah. text messages <laughs> coming through and everybody wants to tell you the draw. So I'll know that by the end of the night anyway, but I don't need to sit around in the venue and, and wait for that. I'll just chill out at, back at the chalet. With regards to that second stage, it's obviously a little bit of a different setup, as we said earlier, than the main stage. But what mm. did you make of the atmosphere? Because there's quite a few people in there. Yeah, there? I thought it was fantastic, to be fair. Um, playing Richie down in this part of the, uh, the world, obviously, it's not too far from Wales. Um, <laughs> and uh, he had a lot of support. He had a lot of support. So I had to put up with that early, early doors and... Uh, I thought I handled it quite well, mm -hmm. you know, because I was, I was getting a little bit of stick, to be fair, which uh, I had no problem with that. And mm -hmm. he's obviously well supported, Richie. But uh, no, I, I come through the first... I, I knew if I come through the first two sessions and we were still together or um, one, one leg mm -hmm. either way, um, it was going to be tight. And I just stuck with it. And I broke him um, straight after and then held. And I thought, right, well, now you're 7-5 up now. You can't throw it away. I think I got lucky to nick the next one. Um, but when it was 8-5, that was it. And I thought Richie so was probably looking at that and thinking, you know, I think he's got too much. Brilliant. Thanks very much and all the best for tomorrow. Okay.